Hello and welcome to the Purpose Driven Marriage Podcast with the Ekundayas. We are here again. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Nice to have you here with us. Yeah, we want to talk about how we got out of debt. Without a doubt, finances is a challenge yes. in many homes. Absolutely. And managing finances can actually make or mar a marriage. Marriage, yeah, yeah. One of the things that happened to us um in the early years of our marriage was us running into debt. A big, big debt. <laughs> it scary wasn't funny. debt. <laughs> it wasn't funny at all. Yeah. It was scary because yeah. it was uh, more than $20,000 at a point. Yeah. And we had only just, our careers were not even that Hadn't great. started at, yeah. We just started else, out. Yeah. And it was looking like, ah, <laughs> are we ever going to <laughs> we, pay? We kept sinking and <laughs> sinking and sinking yeah. into this debt. Like, are we ever going to pay this debt and all yeah. of that? Yeah. But it's interesting though, like how we got into the debt in the first place. Um, you know, I think that to start with, you know, we, we, just got married yeah. um my husband had been living in um he had been living in new zealand for a while yeah, while i was yeah. in nigeria yes you had just joined me yes uh, we had just gotten married and i think i think we did we did well you know with preparing for our wedding we were not in too much <laughs> debt yeah, no, I no, hope, no. no. <laughs> for our wedding we are not uh, into debt i don't recall yes it, yes debt. but as we you know started leaving you know, started, as we started out our marriage um yeah we realized that we were not actually making enough Money. money or we were not um uh i don't know we're not managing our funds well i think yes, that's the, that's yes, the key word yes at the point with initially on one income yeah, yeah you know and we had to sort of supplement mm-hmm. um with um credit card yes oh Ah, mm-hmm. not a good idea. Mm-hmm. And Someone then, said credit card is a spirit. <laughs> we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then one thing led to another. Lots of um, needs. Expenses as expenses. well. Like for instance, you had some exams you had to do. Yes, that's right. And there were thousands right. of dollars. I remember one of the exams was like $5,000, $6,000. Very expensive medical, medical exams. exams yeah. You know, to be able to practice in New Zealand. I had to do like three three different exams. Yeah. And those ex- exams are very expensive. expensive. Yes. Yeah. So that number one also and I think we're not making enough to save up for, for the yeah exam. i think i was only working part-time also yeah. so it was <laughs> it was crazy we we're barely making enough for us to survive yeah so anything extra was like <laughs> hard to be put on the credit card hard to yeah be unfortunately and all of yeah that. and then i remember you were going to go to nigeria at a point as well yes yes so that you know tickets flight the flight that, tickets and everything. you know it wasn't something that we could afford from out of our own pockets. So I think we took personal loan for that one, if I recall correctly. We Possibly. Had to, and yeah. I remember when we gave birth to oh. our second son also. Yes. We, we wanted a bigger a car. We <laughs> 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 wanted a bigger car. <laughs> so, <laughs> so because we had to sell the old car mm-hmm. we were using and yeah. to buy a bigger one that was more expensive. Mm-hmm. So we had to get some extra money again, <laughs> getting from the credit card. <laughs> you know, I think, I think one thing about living abroad though is mm. the fact that you can... You have still access survive, to yeah, things, yeah, yeah, with credit cards. So you can, it's something that you can fall back on. Yeah. But at the same time, it's not your money in reality. Yeah. You just keep sinking deep and deep and yeah. deep if you're not careful. And if you're watching this right now, you're listening to this, mm. and you're sinking deep as a married couple, and you're wondering, how, are we ever going to get out of this? Mm. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, we're, we're sinking deep, uh, and it's getting deep, and it's getting deeper. <laughs> um, but we have hope for you. Yes, yes, and we're still renting at the time. Yeah, yeah. So, ah <laughs> uh, man, if we were sink, sinking too deep, we would never be able to buy a house and all of that. Yeah. So it became a concern for us, and we just quickly want to share with you in a few easy steps mm-hmm. on how you two can get out of debt because that was how we get out of debt. Yeah. And number one thing that we believe was the key, first thing was a realization dawned on us. Absolutely. And that realization was that hey. We can't continue like this. Else we're not going to be able to make any <laughs> any yeah. good investment with our money exactly. or with our lives. <laughs> exactly. For someone watching this, this could be that realization yeah. for you. you. You're watching this and you're like, oh, that's us. That is us. Mm-hmm. We can place ourselves in what the Akundayas are talking about Absolutely, right now. Which yeah. we are sinking in debt, we're sinking in credit card loans and all of those things like that. This could be that realization for you. Yeah. And that was it for us. We are like, no, we cannot continue like this. Yeah. We've got to do something about it. And I believe every change starts with a realization. A realization. Yeah. Every yeah. change begins with a realization. When you catch yourself, you know, falling and you say, no, 
I need to stop falling. Yes, and what can we do? We cannot continue we to cannot live like continue this, to live you like know. This. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the beginning for us. I think that must have come through a sermon. I remember it was a financial seminar something, thing too. So in church. In church. Something like that. Just like yeah. you're hearing this as well, too. You know, this could be that trigger trigger of, yeah. of realization yeah. for you. Yeah. And as soon as that happened, I came home, I told my wife, I said, No, we've got to do something about yeah. this. So the very next thing we did was we went for knowledge. Yeah. And I remember my husband started doing a lot of study, watching YouTube videos, listening to um, a Dave gentleman. Ramsey. Yeah. Financial, is that a financial advisor? He's a financial Dave advisor. Yeah. A yeah, Christian, Ram- a born yeah. again Christian. Yeah. And he, he, he will soak himself into lots of <laughs> <laughs> the videos and listen and listen and listen. And he'll come back and tell me, babe, you know, we can do this thing like this, like this, like this. We need to budget. We need to do this. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 mm-hmm. and something about my husband is mm-hmm. once we are in debt or once we are not doing well fi- financially he becomes extremely stressed, stressed. you know you oh. can't tell yeah to become very grumpy any little thing will just be a little trigger oh he goodness. doesn't like yeah. to be in debt and, and it does stem from my upbringing my parents mm-hmm. didn't have enough when we were growing up and many times i've seen how unpalatable those situations are mm-hmm. and sort of like um, I don't. I don't think it is a bad thing necessarily, but it just creates a kind of like a traumatizing feeling for me. More like, oh, this is scary. Yeah. Are we gonna go back to those times <laughs> when we had nothing? That sort of thing. We've got to be very careful. So yeah. debt, debt throws me into a bit of of stress. Mm. But you know, the moment we started getting that knowledge, knowledge those yeah. stress began to disappear. Yeah. All of a sudden, I we started to feel a sense of control Absolutely. on our finances, unlike yeah. before. Yeah, and so we sat down, you know, and we started, th- started thinking, okay, what can we do to ensure that we're able to pay this debt off? Yeah. You know, and to be able to do other things with our lives because we yeah. wanted to buy a house. We had this investment. Yeah, we had goals. And had, you cannot yeah. make investments while you're still in debt, you know, because the it's bank... It's like being in prison and ex- looking at Yeah, time. yeah. <laughs> Because the bank is going to loan you money, yeah. you know, they're going to look at your financial statement, you know, and to make sure that you've got a healthy financial account, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and so even collect, get it, asking people to sort of support us or help us financially, Mm-mm. many people are like, you know, go and sort your debt out. Uh, yeah, I remember, I remember <laughs> when we went to uh, was it some, was someone to help us when we were saying we wanted to buy a house, the person said, go and pay all your debt first, <laughs> yeah. you know, so, you know, so number three, you know, we talk about number one, yeah, being realization. The fact, a realization, number two, being going after knowledge, mm-hmm. number three is taking action. Yeah. So many people read things, many people have books on their shelves, mm-hmm. but they're not taking action. Yeah. They are just coasting through the knowledge. Some people even boast that I have 5,000 books on my book, <laughs> whatever, but you're not taking yeah. action based on that thing. Mm-hmm. So take action. As I started listening to Dave Ramsey, he had these baby steps, yeah. all right, um, that he listed out. I think number one of them was get out of debt or something like that. Have a savings, you know, for rainy day or for, for miscellaneous or something like that. So we started to follow those steps. So I'm going to link this in the description. Uh, yeah. Dave Ramsey's channel, YouTube channel. So you, two can, you guys too can, can follow him. Yeah, I think one thing also that I think practically that we did was we said setting out a certain amount of money that we're putting into paying that, the debt. Yes. So Rigorously. Like, yeah. It was like, <laughs> it was painful. Like yeah. when you, you're making money, but you know, that you can't, you can't you're, spend, you're taking yeah. a huge chunk of that amount and just to pay your debt. Yeah. It was painful to go through that, but guess what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, liberating because, yeah, it was eventually. liberating. It yeah. was very liberating. It was very liberating. But because I could not shop, during those times. Oh, yeah, it was And nice. she's always stressed when she can't shop. <laughs> Shopping is one of the ways I ease out stress. <laughs> so, but I, I knew that it was for a good cause. Yeah. You know, I we, we together, we were able to see yeah, the future. Division, you know, yeah. you know we, we realized that if we're able to get ourselves out of debt, mm. we're able to do this, 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 this. Yes. So, be, look, having that future at the back of our minds, you know, and was having quite that vision. Enc- exactly, mm. that vision was very encouraging. Yes, yes. So we took action. We followed those baby steps. We started to, and guess what? You'll be shocked about this. In less than a year or two, we're out, completely out of there. We paid all of those things in yeah. on the money that we thought was not enough. Yeah. Because my wife, I didn't even got in. Uh, uh, I, s- uh, I had to start working yet. Job. Yeah. Then, I, we used the income that was not enough to actually pay off the debt. It yeah. was crazy. Yeah. So somebody's watching this right now. And you think, oh. Our income is not enough. I dare you to do some of those things that Dave Ramsey recommend. Number one of them is doing a budget. Budget, oh wow. Check where your money is going. 
check how you can you know reduce and take out some some expenses yes yeah, so i remember those times I'll, I'll look for cheap cheap things on aliexpress yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but some of the things were not even necessary to be honest they were exactly. not necessary so just shopping unnecessary and shopping spending and shopping. Yes. some of you it could be amazon amazon online shoppers <laughs> and until you cut that realization yeah. you will not know that those things are unnecessary because Absolutely. it's the realization that helps you to then have a different perspective about your finances. Yeah, yeah. You know? And then we began to take those actions and take those actions. We got out of debt completely. And guess what happened? Almost a year after we got out of debt or less, we bought a house. We wow, bought it was our beautiful. First house. It was beautiful. We bought yeah. our first house miraculously. <laughs> miraculously. Yeah, but if we didn't actually come up with that plan, mm. you know, or we didn't have that realization and we didn't take action, I don't know where we'll be today, to be honest. Yeah. Um, because the action that we took has put us in a much better position for Absolutely. us financially. Absolutely. So you too can, can come. Uh, yeah, you can take action. Can you can out come out of, out of debt. You can manage your finances better. Because those times when we are not imagine, managing our finances better, there are some seemingly good causes that were eating us up. Yeah. You know, like somebody just ringing from our own country, Nigeria, and say they need money now. <laughs> <laughs> And this is us like in debt and suffering. Yeah, and yeah. And we can't be looking for the money. Yeah. But now because we have a budget, we yeah. are able to allocate a certain amount to, you know, things like that. Some of those And to things, be honest, yeah. once we don't have it, we don't have it. You know, you can't, ki- you can't you come, come back in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, there are sometimes people will ask us and we say, we don't because we have a budget. Yeah. You know, so do not kill yourself um, at the expense of, you know, do not, um, you know, try to fend for people at the, at the expense of your own financial health. Exactly. It will not do your marriage any good no i don't try to live you know a life that you cannot afford mm. <laughs> like don't try to live a life mm-hmm. that's that is a just, word for some but that's word <laughs> that of knowledge cannot, that you cannot afford just yeah. to please people that don't care no, what they, you they look care. like you'll what? be shocked many people don't care <laughs> they're just asking you because they see you on social media thinking you have yeah. all, all the money in so the world. cut your coat according, according to, to your your, clothes. your cloth yes Not according to your size yes. because some people's size are big but their clothes is small <laughs> Absolutely. If your yeah. clothes can only do blouse, do blouse, do top, and you know, forget it because it's, this is very key. Mm. Like like we said, for us being in debt stresses me. My wife yeah. not being able to shop stresses her. Mm. Those stress would compound in mm-hmm. your marriage. All of a sudden, you are having communication breakdowns. Yeah, constant conflicts, mm-hmm. and you are wondering where they are coming from. So when we are healthy financially, it means a lot of things can actually go right. Yeah. I think one thing that we did after we paid our debts was my husband just caught the credit card. <laughs> like, like <laughs> bam, 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 bam. this thing is bondage. It's, it's, we, it's, we are doing away with it. <laughs> and the, guess what? We were then able to, I remember, and we still do that now, we have savings that was now like the credit card yeah. for us. When all of those things now came up, you yeah. know, all those, uh, ex, you know, so we fell things, back on the, we were yeah. able to fall back on the yeah. savings rather than on the credit card. Yeah. You know, um, and, and that has really helped. Yeah, us. because never forget that a credit card is not your money in reality. It is not, it is your, not money. your money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though it feels like your, your means, money, it is yeah. not your money. It is not your money. It is. Yeah. So on, uh, we want to end on a last thing. When you start taking action, mm-hmm. be consistent. Yeah. All right. Because sometimes you may creep back into your, you know, shell of yeah. overspending, you know, and maybe you stop budgeting, but make sure you come back again. Make sure catch you yourself. catch yourself again. Yeah. Make sure, be, repeat the process. Realization, go after knowledge, Take, know, action. take action yeah. and be consistent again. And soon you realize that you are free. All right. Psychologists have told us that one of the evidence that people are successful is that they have a sense of control. control. Yeah. So when you feel like you have a sense of control over your finances, if you feel successful financially, even if you don't have a million dollars in your account. Feel good. <laughs> feel good. You feel good. I and got this, man. <laughs> yes. And to the glory of God, we feel that way now because yeah. we are no longer in that kind of debt. And God is helping us to manage Glory it. So God. we hope that this episode has been a blessing to you and you've learned one or two things. We're going to yep. put the links of Dave Ramsey and some of the things we've talked about in the description so that you two can lay your hands on them. And get out of debt and if you are in. Debt and be healthy financially. <laughs> Absolutely. God bless you. We'll, until we come again to your screen or to your podcast next time, this is the Purpose Driven Marriage with Bia Kulayos.